let y is equal to x square plus 2ax plus 10 minus 3a. Now add and subtract a square to the right hand side. Combining the first three terms on the right hand side, this can be written as x plus a whole square minus in brackets a square plus 3a minus 10 and this is equal to x plus a whole square minus a plus 5 times a minus 2. Now if y is to be positive for all values of x then it is necessary that the second term a plus 5 times a minus 2 is negative because when this is the case minus of a plus 5 times a minus 2 is positive and therefore x plus a whole square which is a positive number minus a plus 5 times a minus 2 will also be a positive number for all values of x. Therefore y is greater than 0 when a plus 5 times a minus 2 is less than 0. Now a plus 5 times a minus 2 is negative when a is greater than minus 5 and less than 2. And this is the required answer.